Looks like cleanup on aisle four. Ha <laughs> ha 
My name is Ty McVicker. I am the, uh, I'm a writer at uh, uh, PC Player Monthly. And um, uh, we at PC Player Monthly uh, feel as if the, the future is uh, online. We feel as if the future is uh, the internet. Oh, we have a fax coming in. Um, uh, my God. Okay. So we'll read these in a second. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very nervous. Uh, I've not done one of these webcasts officially. Uh, we did one last week to test the equipment. And um, that seems to have gone uh, fairly well. However, um, my boss got pretty mad because I didn't uh, tell him that I was going to be doing that. So now um, my job is kind of on the line if this doesn't uh, go well. Um, feel free to join the IRC um, here. Um, feel free to, to join the IRC if you want to be able to talk with me. Uh, I am Ty McVicker in the IRC. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm watching, oh, yeah, uh, I don't, it, Clinton's talking about something. Um, I got some Pepsi, um, so I'm just going to quickly get that open. I'm terrible with bottles. Yeah, just how do you? I got this. I got some Pepsi, and um, is this a twist? No. What's that noise? What was that noise? What's that noise? Did you hear that? Was I hearing that? Was that me or was that you? I heard a noise. Um, what is that noise? I just want my Pepsi. Um, so, uh, today we're going to be playing, we have another fax coming in. Uh, today we're going to be playing some Secret of Monkey Island and some You Don't Know Jack while we wait for people to, uh, file in. Um, it takes a little while for real media to connect to webcasts. Uh, online radio shows and that kind of thing. We have another. We have another fax. Okay. Um, I should probably just read these faxes. All right. Um, so these are people who are subscribing to my web zone through the Real Media uh, Player and also through the um, uh, PC Player. Mo what is that noise? So we have people subscribe, uh, following or, or joining our, our emailing list. Uh, uh, Sheesh Lost Control 24, uh, Vids CMC, I G B E X T O, Jack Red 123, Keeper of Honey, and Friggin Unbelievable, Cozy Ghost. Um, thank you for subscribing to our uh, uh, adding us to uh, to our email list. Uh, the only Enix fan ever. Thank you for subscribing, which um, is a is a feature that we have on the PC uh, Player Network, uh, the PC Player Monthly website, where you can um, subscribe to our magazine. So thank you for we got a new subscription, uh, and then Magic Lamo with a, subs a new subscription, 12 month subscription to PC Player Monthly. Hello, McVicker. How are you? I currently have a very bad illness that won't exist for another 20 years or so. Okay, well, I'm sure that the fax machine is just going to be full of shit I don't understand, and we have another fax coming in. Oh, God. Well, we're going to need a new... We're going to need new ink soon. Uh, the only Enix fan ever says, More noises. Um, Mondman33 has... has uh, we've added him to the, the mailing list. Retrocity... 
has uh, gifted a 12-month subscription to two different people, and then Plat Talks, Plat Plateauics, is also on our mailing list now. Thank you very much. Um, so um, I uh, was told by my boss that today we are going to be playing uh, The Secret of Monkey Island as uh, The Curse of Monkey Island is set to release soon. How do you open a bottle? I, I have some Pepsi, and I'd like to, I'd like to open my Pepsi. Um, how do you open a Pepsi? Do I have a bottle opener? No. I should have, I should have got one. I remember, like, you, you, I, I remember that you could just, like, like, That broke the desk. That broke that broke the desk. That broke the desk. Um I'm not I'm not gonna be drinking Pepsi. That's okay. I've got I've got I've got Mountain Dew instead. And we also got some some planters cheese balls. I'm gonna eat some cheese balls tonight as we play some video games. Okay. Okay. Um so um let's place let's um while we wait for people to come in. Um Oh, we have another fax coming in. We could play some You Don't Know Jack while we wait for people to come in. It's going to take a little while for people's real media to catch up. So let's play, play a short round of You Don't Know Jack. We've got another fax. Got another fax here. Um, uh, ben, Bendora, Bendota, thank you very much. Uh, Nor Parrot, uh, the real red engineer. Um, Re and Re Rebel Castle and Lizard Insurance. Thank you for subscribing to our mailing list. And uh, Apelica111, thank you for the 12-month subscription to PC Player Monthly. Um, uh, it says, Hello, McVicker. I have pissed in a disc tray in this time 10 years from now. Sparks flew everywhere that day. Okay, we at PC Player Monthly do not condone uh, the act of urinating into a computer's disc tray. Please, uh, please don't do that. Let's play around to You Don't Know Jack while we wait for people to, to file in. Also, um, for subscribers uh, at watching at home, you can call in toll-free. The number is available on the website where the website is where um, it's available on the website. So, there you go. We're with Flight from Euro Jack. My name is Ty. We're going to play a seven question game. Thanks. You're up 30 seconds. Well, we got another fact. It's a blank page. It's a blank page. Here's the directions. When a question pops up, you gotta buzz in. Then you pick your answer on the screen and hit the right number on the keyboard. Got it? Okay, this um Skelly Thor, J uh, Fox, um and those uh added us to our mailing list. Um What's his name? Uh, oh my god. I can't, we need money to buy new toner for the fax machine. Sentry James, Sentry J-Man, what's your favorite game? Um, Duke Nukem 3D. Uh, thank you, really excited for these webcasts. PC Player Monthly is one of my favorite magazines, thank you very much. Um, and then, I need the record of this because I can't read it. Um, what's your favorite game? I'm sorry, um, ret uh, Retrocity, you sent a message. I, I can't read the message. If, if you would like to send a donation to PC Player Monthly, that would be 
hugely helpful. We could buy some more um, toner. Here in pop culture collide. This is it. You don't know Jack. Did you get your parents to sign your permission slip? Because, you know, I just can't let you on the bus without it. Okay, just check it. So it's just you playing this time around, huh? Nothing to be ashamed of. Just don't let it happen again. Well, let's get started. Okay. okay is there a prize for most naked? Fucker up for. Is there a prize for most naked? Thousand bucks if you get it. All right, suppose you took Michelangelo's sculpture David, shrank it, gilded it, and put it on a little marble stand. Considering what he holds, for what competition would Michelangelo's David make the most appropriate trophy? The home run derby, the slingshot target shoot, the 400 meter think, or the decap-a-thon? I have no idea. God, baby, I diss you so much. Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. Uh, Michelangelo's David is holding a sling, the one he used to kill the giant Goliath. He'd also get the award for best ass. Talk about rock hard. Category, please. Um, New Year. The category, the shining new year. Are you, you okay? Back at 2000 bucks Are you having a good day? This one. Okay, remember in The Shining when Jack Nicholson's character has cabin fever and writes all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy a bazillion times and then he becomes a homicidal maniac? Yes. Well, according to the Mother Goose nursery rhyme, what would all play and no work make Jack a dull You haven't been listening to a single thing I've said, have you? Let's take a look at the right answer. <laughs> I'll play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. But a mere toy can still kill you. I know, I saw Child's Play 4. All right, hit me. Okay. Uh-oh, wet suck tit shine floor. It's time for a triple business fun. I don't know what to do. I'm, Your I'm gibberish category so for nervous. today is... Let's now have buttloads of money, sire. Let's get the ball rolling at 5K for this gibberish question. Now, don't get nervous, but the more time you take, the less cash you get. Hey, now listen up. We're rhyming here. What saying does this gibberish phrase rhyme with? Watch this. The truck. It's all yours. Type in your answer. Uh. Hey, no problem. You buzzed in too early, you lose some cash. I'm okay with that. I was so counting on you to get this one right, and you really let me down. Don't you know that the trends in greed tis the engine creed? Oh. Jerk. Uh. I need a category. Here we have His Semantic Majesty, and we got 3,000 bucks in the pot. Just step up and take a swing at this one. Suppose Beelzebub takes a little trip down to the local video store. Given what Beelzebub means, which of these movies might he rap? Go get it! You should really get that looked at. The correct answer is... The name Beelzebub comes from the Hebrew name for a Philistine god whose name literally meant Lord of the Flies. What? It's just about a bunch of crappy kids? Bah! Hey, wait a minute, they're acting all evil and stuff. All right, smash them! Yeah, the big rock! I don't know any of these, so I'm gonna quit. Let's just play Monkey Island. I, I swear I'm smart. What are you guys saying about me? Okay, so I have the Monkey Island Madness disc. We have 300 people watching right now. Holy shit. What? Oh, we have a fax. Um, Pepper is now sub to the mailing list, 
So is uh, Glocon. Thank you. Someone sent a picture. Someone has faxed a picture of someone shoving um, oh. what looks to be a block of cheese into a turkey. And underneath it, it reads, Cheddar 2 Pounds. I knew that this was a mistake setting up a, a fax machine, but I don't even get it. Um, and then Phantom Unboxing says, Listen to me. In 2016, there will be a gorilla in the Cincinnati Zoo. You must stop a child from falling into the gorilla pit and save the timeline. Okay, what the fuck are you talking about, bruh? Let's just play Monkey Island. So this is the Monkey Island Madness disc. It's got Monkey Island 1 and 2 on it. It's got uh, Red Book Audio on it. So we're going to play it. I've never actually played Secret of Monkey Island, and that's why my boss is like, Bruh, you got to play Secret of Monkey Island. Bro, bro, you got to play Secret of Monkey Island. It's the best game ever made. Um... We might, I, we might have to, oh, hey, here we go, Secret of Monkey Island, ladies and gentlemen, deep in the Caribbean, the island of Malay. The Secret of Monkey Island. Created and designed by Ron Gilbert. Written and performed by Ron Gilbert, Dave Grossman, and Tim Schaefer. CD-ROM conversion by Eric Wo Oh, okay. I guess we don't need to care who you are. Yeah, this game came out in 90, 1990, so this game is going on, it's like nine years old now, can you believe that shit? I want my Pepsi! Does anybody know how to open a Pepsi? I want my fucking Pepsi. How long is this? How, is this what people have to watch every time they boot Secret of Monkey Island? Because this is taking a while. Use your shirt. I don't understand what that means. Oh, game starting. Mm. Mm. My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes. Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah. Well, I'm a thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them at the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, where did you say those pirates were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. So, I know this game is funny. I get that. It's a funny game. Um, can someone explain what the joke of you look like a flooring inspector is? What's that about? He looks like a flooring ex inspector. What? What? Flooring it. What? Okay. So we got give, open, close, talk to, look at, pick up, use, push, pull. We have a poster. Look at poster. Re elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. So 
Governor Marley is running unopposed then. Kind of like, uh, you got fucking, what's this guy's name back there? Clinton's on the TV. Talking about bullshit I don't care about. Who cares about politics? It's boring. Okay, we gotta go to the scum bar. Well, that says scum bar on it. I'm gonna go over here, though. I'm gonna walk away from the scum bar. Walk to Archway. Ooh! Citizen of Melee. Let's talk to this guy. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? What? No, I don't. What is that? Some sort of code? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. I'm gonna say, no, I don't. Never mind. Good night. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at you. What are you looking at? Oh, we have a fax. It's a blank page. Oh, what was that? <gasps> No, wait, 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 there's a man. No, 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 go talk to the man. Come back. Ah. Okay, we have a fax, hold on. Um, Gloramo has subscribed for 12 months to the PC Player Monthly with the message, love this. Um, Ampile, Ampile Last Lace is following, uh, we got, an, and then we got the Dart Frog, uh, they're on the, uh, mailing list, and then, uh, game, uh, you see, it, I, the, uh, they say, uh, Ty, what do you picture the year 2022 being like? Um, how many years is that from now? 23? 23 years from now, I think, I think we'll probably find some happiness and peace, you know, because things seem to be getting a lot better lately, so I think it would be safe to assume that over the next, tw wait, like, 25 years, we, we all find, like, happiness and peace and stuff, at least that's what I hope for in the future, you know? What are these guys doing? I'd like to talk to this rat, please. I said don't pester the rat. No, I, I want to talk to the rat. I'm not going to warn you again. I'm going to talk to the rat. Leave the rat alone. I'm going to talk to the rat. Hey, man. Frank, make him quit it. Ah, uh, now look what you did. <laughs> Sorry about the rat. Do you like rats? Um, yeah, I love rats. They're very intelligent creatures. Ha 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 ha! Oik! What? More intelligent than him? Why, there's a story about these parts. A bunch of rats actually crewed a ship from here to the fabled Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. Um, that's amazing, but true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get a better old uh, stand in a... What? I thought it was rats. Do you guys know the sneaky-looking man on the opposite corner? Want to buy a map, eh? <laughs> what? Our maps are top quality. Not like the Burgecade liners you get from the clown across the street. That guy's looking back and forth all shifty. No, just kidding. 
These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting in the Melee Isle in the PTA. What the hell? Can't even give them away. Want one? No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. What? <laughs> what? Okay, that's fair. Say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. But some idiot chased our trained rat away. That was me. Shut up! Coink. Of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? Um, how come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. <laughs> Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now, operating out of Monkey Island. So we've left pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. I've been working. It's been working out well until the rat scared off the elephant. And now some jerk scared off the rat. That was me. Now you've depressed us. Go home. <laughs> oh, what did I I got two pieces of eight, and I got minutes. There sure are a lot of spelling errors. Uh, talk to them. Okay, bye. Okay. Talk to this guy. Excuse me, but do... Oh, it's only you again. I just want a map. Shh! Pipe down, will ya? That ugly sheriff might be around here. Now then, let's talk business. Wow. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Trademarked? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only a hundred pieces of eight. Uh, no thanks. I don't want it. Not enough money, eh? No, I said I don't want it. Come back when you're serious about treasure hunting, kid. I'm gonna give you the minutes. Oh, I can't do that? We got a fax. Um... Uncle Bus just subscribed to 12 months of PC Player Monthly. Thank you very much. Psychic Mario 64 has also subscribed to 12 months of PC Player Monthly. Thank you. And then Matthew and, um, oh, I can't read this name because I can't afford ink. But if somebody's following, I'm going to call you Chubby. Thanks, Chubby. Okay, um, we got a door over here. Let's go to this door. Open door. This guy keeps running around. It's creeping me out. Walk to stat. I want to look. Oh! Look at the statue, please. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. I just said look at. Look at baskets. Gee, I wonder what's in these baskets. No, I not. Okay. Talk to, look at, chicken. Hmm, a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could have that happen? I'm going to pick up that. Maybe no one will miss this thing. I'm going to pick up these bones. I'm going to pick up this chalice. I'm gonna pick up voodoo knickknacks. Alright, fine, jeez. Open door. I should probably go to the scum bar. 
That's where the game told me to go, and I just didn't do it. Open door. Walk to door. I'm gonna talk to this pirate. I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Don't wanna bother them. They're busy listening to the guy on the left. Holy there, stranger. New in town? My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? Ha ha ha! That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Yeah, it's pretty dumb, isn't it? That's okay. Mine is Mancomb Seep Good. What brings you to Melee Island anyway? Um, I really don't know. Well, it sure wasn't for the sunshine. I think you need some guidance. You should go talk to the important looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where you can't wait, where to go and what to do. Um, where can I find the governor? Governor Marley? Her mansion's on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Why not? Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. It made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. How's that? Well, there's a whole big story about what's happened next, but I don't believe a word of it. Esteban over there at the over table might be able to tell you about it. He takes the whole thing seriously. Very seriously. Uh-oh, it looks like my grog is going flat, so you have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Islands, trademark. What are you looking at me for? I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Guybrush. Yeah, so what? Um, who's the pirate that's bugging the governor? LeChuck? He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did. Then things got really ugly. How did things... How did he die? He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that was the end of the fearsome pirate LeChuck. We were wrong. What is the secret of Monkey Island? Only LeChuck knows. He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That's why we're all in here and not out pirating. Um, what happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, hey, wait a second. That's none of your business. Uh, excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. Where can I get a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you, but that could take all day. 
Just find a mug and sneak into the kitchen. That's all. We, that's what we all do. Look, this whole LeChuck thing has me pretty shaken up. So if you don't mind... Alright. We've got a, a lady. I think they're busy. We got these guys over here. What the hell? Ask me about Loom. I. So, tell me about Loom. Well, if you're the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty, what the fuck? It's an extraordinary adventure with interface and magic advertisement, stunning high-resolution 3D landscapes, and sophisticated score of musical effects advertisement, not to mention the detailed animations and special effects. Elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today! Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. I'm sorry, but some topics I just get carried away. <laughs> nice hat. I. I yourself. I. Okay, nice talking to you. <laughs> Hi. So that's the loom pirate. There's a dog. Grr. Um, grr. Grr. I'm gonna talk to the dog again. Grr. Rough. Ruff, uh, roof, arf, woof, woof, arf, woof, war roof, melee island trademark, a uh, roof, roof, lechuck, grrrr, wharf, 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 what is this dog, <laughs> okay, let's try woof, woof, arf, roof, Woof woof arf woof. War woof melee islands trademark. A roof woof. Lechuck. Grrr. Um. A roof. A roof? Rough. Damn it. Okay, so obviously there's like. There's an order here. There's an order here. Okay. So, as long as it's not Gur, I think if we get to the next stage of, of the dog conversation. Alright, woof, LeChuck, yes, 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 Gur, yes. Alright, uh, let's do Yip Yip Yip. Oh, he didn't like Yip Yip Yip. Okay, so I guess I straight up ask him, ask, ask this dog. <sighs> Taking a minute. Alright. Woof, LeChuck. Woof, 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 rough, rough. War, roof, woof. Ruff, arf, arf, bow, rough. Governor Marley. Ow, ow. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Bow, wow, rough, ralph, ow, arf. LeChuck. Grrr. Ow, roof, oof, oof, Monkey Island trademark. Sniff, sniff. What the hell was that? What in the fuck was that? Alright, let's go over here. Let's talk to these dudes. Important looking pirates. Hey, what do you wantin', boy? What be ye wantin', boy? Um, I wanna be a fireman. Get lost, boy, you bother us. Hey, they don't like firemen. What be ye? One boy. I mean to kill you all. Get lost, boy. You bother us. What ye be wanting, boy? I want to be a pirate. 
So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole LeChuck thing. So? So no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm... Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well... Alright, but don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through... THE THREE TRIALS! Um... What three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword, the, and the art of thievery, and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you see, urchin? Right. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and, and uh, treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! Oh my. So, um, how does this look and sound? It's my, like, I have all this television equipment everywhere, and it's plugged into a friggin' Macintosh over here. Um, and I'm not very familiar with everything. So, um... Can I alt enter out of this and check the IRC? It looks and sounds fine. I love the microphone. Looking and sounding great. A bit loud, but everything is good. What's loud? Can you hear my voice okay? Do you need donations for ink? Yes, I do. Yes. Game is a tad loud. Okay. Like I said, we're running off of a Macintosh over here uh, with a bunch of television equipment hooked into it. Um, so. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how, how you're doing. Well, if it isn't the boy who wants to be a pirate, how do you fare on your quests? Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get ye a sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Um, I don't know why, but... Oh, there it is. It took a, took a minute for it to... Oh! You'll want to find someone to train you first. Ha ha! Imagine trying to take on the Swordmaster without any training. Har har har! Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. Tell me, um... We want to procure a small item for us. The Idol of Many Hands. In the Governor's Mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside of town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. They're particularly vicious. You might be able to drug them or something. Tell me about treasure hunting. Legend has it there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? You can hardly expect to find treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. What's in that grog stuff, anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, polyphene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you must probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic volatile substances known to man. 
The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> okay. Uh, bye. Leave us to our grog. Come back and tell us how you're doing. Okay. Well, there's a door. Oh, there's a fireplace. Let's look at the fireplace. Cozy. I'm going to use the chicken on the fireplace. I don't want to burn that. Okay. Open the door. Hey! You can't come back here. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait for you. I saw you walk out, so I'm going to wait for you to walk by. Oh, another fax is coming through. Hey! Don't go into the kitchen. I'm going in the kitchen. Fuck you. Um, Hydrogen Rod, Heavenly Borks, thank you for following the, the mailing list. MrSleeper.com, MissSleeper.com, MSleeper.com has subscribed for 12 months to PC Player Monthly with the message, All your base belong to us. All your base belong to us. <laughs> um... We got a couple gifted 12-month subscriptions from M Sleeper, uh, so thank you very much for, for that. I appreciate it. Um, and I'm seeing here that some of the, the messages that are meant for... All right. Um, I have special software hooked into the Macintosh specifically for, um, for this stuff, so bear with me. Alright, there is a hunk of meat. Let's talk to the hunk of meat. Let's look at the hunk of meat. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Can I take it? I now have the hunk of meat. Is that the friggin' Pillsbury Doughboy? I'm gonna look at the table. I don't see anything special about it. Okay. I'm gonna look at this pot. Something... Someone cooked a head cheese in this. Can I take the pot? Yes, I can. There is a barrel. It's full of that foul stuff the pirates drink. We've got some stew cooking. Boiling hot. Use the meat in the stew. Mmm, stewed meat. Okay, and then why did I do that? Is there a cup out there? Like a mug or something that I missed? Pick up pirate. Can't pick that up. Well, it is a pirate. I don't see... I don't see a mug that I can take. Oh! We gotta wait for him again. Hey! Don't go into the kitchen! Screw you, fatty. I'm fat, too. Alright, so can I use pot with table? No. So what's out here? There is a bird. Walk to fish. Pick up fish. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Um. Talk to bird. Look at fish. I think it's a herring. Okay. Use. Ch 
chicken on fish. That doesn't seem to work. Use pot with fish. No. Hmm. Hmm. Pick up meat in stew. Ouch! Stewed meat. Use stewed meat with pot. No. Use stewed meat with fish. No. What the hell do I use the stewed meat for? Alright. I'm just gonna leave the scum bar for now. I'll come back if I think of anything. Meanwhile... Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck's ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir! Uh, I... Ah! There's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like that. Uh... Sir... I... It's days like this that makes me glad to be dead. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. You're glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship and murdered me and everyone on board. Yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what you disturbed me for? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? Those sissy pirates are so scared to take the sea that they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young. Inexperienced. Probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait. I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Well, that's that. I've got some stewed meat. We're gonna go back to the... Shekels guy. Let's talk to this dude. Excuse me, but... Do oh, it's only you again. Come back for the map of the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, eh? I hope you brought enough money this time. No thanks, I don't have enough money. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. Okay, so I've already spoken to them. There's a door there, but I can't use it. There's a door there, there's a door there. Let's open this door. Whoa. What? Okay, look at clock. Ten o'clock. Open door. Go over there. Yeah, go open that door. Open door. What the hell is with these doors? Open door. Chickens. Look at chickens. Poor chickens. Talk to, use, chicken on chickens. Thanks, haven't you ever heard of salmonella? Have you ever heard of salmonella? This is Bill Clinton on TV. Oh, shoot. What may I help you with, son? 
my name's Guybrush Threefoot, and I'm a mighty pirate. Wait, don't say anything. I can sense your name is... is... Guybrush... Nose Hair. No. Threefoot. Guybrush Threefoot. Am I not right? Wow, that's amazing. Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the truth. How much? Can you read palms? Am I going to be rich? So, the mind reading skill tells me it is your future that you are interested in. Are you certain that this is somehow really, is this something you really wish to know? Uh, yes, tell me everything. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah! I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey! Yikes! I see you inside the giant monkey. Gross. Wait. It's becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No! The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Whoa! Yikes! She gone. Hey, I'm back and I'm ready to know about my future. I guess no one's there. Hmm, I hear something slithering inside. Use basket. No thanks, I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Open basket. No thanks, something will probably jump out and bite me. That was cool. Let's walk over here now. You know, now that I'm sitting here and I know that there's an IRC server talking about the webcast, I feel like I need to get a second server. I need to get a second monitor. I have a second monitor. Hillary Clinton. I see the second monitor out in the hall. I'm going to have to move everything on my desk, though. Because, like, in order to check it, I need to... Full screen. Can your graphics chip handle that? Yeah. Yeah, I can have two outputs, but one of them's composite only. But my old C64 monitor was composite only. Do you have two computers? I have like 12 or 13. My C64 is right there. Um... Why do you have so many computers? Because I work uh, for a gaming magazine. Computers and consoles? Oh yeah. I have, um... I have a Nintendo 64. I have a Super Nintendo. I have a Genesis. How's the ink situation? Uh, pretty bad. But I haven't gotten a fax in a while. Um... Do you think this whole webcasting video games thing will catch on? People say live streaming. I don't like it. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know where that term came from. I say webcasting. Um, I will tell you what. If you try to fax me an image, 
I will reimburse, and it doesn't come through. Like, if you, if you have tried to fax something to me, and it hasn't come through due to technical difficulties, I'll reimburse the cost of the fax. Um, so just send me an email and let me know, um, and we'll, we'll get that taken care of. Um, but must be a different country thing, live streaming. Okay, well, I guess in America we call it webcasting. Yeah. I mean, that's what you call it when you're working with real media. So, when is the next stream? Well, it's cast, and um, I know that today is Monday, but um, we're going to be doing this. The, what I would like to do is every Friday night. We're doing this today because my boss made me. Um, it's Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton's back there. Yeah, so, but, um, I'm going back to the game. Also, people who support PC Player Monthly for $10 or more a month, you get the phone number to call in. So if you want to call our, our toll-free telephone number and talk to me, you can. Um, the, I'm checking now. I think the phone number is on the website. Yep, the phone number was posted an hour ago. So, um, you can call toll-free. Um, I quickly want to check the news, because I'm waiting for a, a new Quake TC to come out. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Um, this is Ty McVicker speaking. Can you hear me? Hey, Tyler. Can you hear me? Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Ty. I'm sorry. Ty, sorry. Yeah, people okay, get that. Cool. People That's... mix that up sometimes. What's up? Hello? Oh, they hung up. Okay. All right, I just want to check the news real quick. Someone's saying pips, pissed in the alleyway. Hello? Anybody in here? Oh, goodness. Hello? You know, bad things can happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. I'm getting mugged. And at this time of night, nobody around, when nobody will be around to see it. Oh, really? Did you hear something back here, too? Yeah, and bad things happen to people who sneak up on other people from behind. Oh, really? That's interesting. Well, see ya. Now, why are you in such a hurry? I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood! Guybrush Threepwood. Whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of law around. <laughs> so he didn't, didn't take the advice at all. Ooh, a circus. I love a circus. Can I pick up the poster? Can't pick that up. Can I use the poster? That doesn't seem to work. Can I push the poster? 
can I close the poster? Oh, there's a man. Oh, there's a door there. We should open the door. Hold on. What's in here? Ooh. Ahoy there, fancy pants. The storekeeper. What do you want? I'm looking... Uh, I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm, I don't know. Nobody knows whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. Don't touch anything. Okay, now it's time to steal everything. Walk to sign. Ring bell for service. Use bell. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. The Swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. <laughs> what do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster. Look, I told you, she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you ask her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. <laughs> and don't touch anything. Walk to... Ooh, a shovel. Nice. Pull. Safe. It's locked. Yeah. Use handle. Ooh, we're getting the facts. Um, look at handle. Get a handle on your savings with Gripmaster Handles. Uh, use shovel with safe. I don't think that'll open it. Use meat with safe. That doesn't seem to work. Well, what the fuck did you guys send me? Alright, Spenny X is following. Mr. MSleeper.com has sent a picture of... I... I don't know what that is. Um, this is... Hold on. This is what I have been sent. Some science company uh, button, I think. And, um, oh, somebody's hosting with a bunch of views. And there's a message here that I cannot read. I see, the, I see 1979. Um, something, uh, from an old Soviet movie from 1979. Uh... Apologies, but I need more ink. I need to keep records of these fucking messages. But uh, thank you for the person that's that, that, that sending a whole bunch of viewers our way. Thank you. There's a sword. Oh, wait, I gotta... Uh, pick up sword. Yes! Is that everything that I can pick up? There's a safe, but I don't know how to open it. Can I take the bell? Pick up bell. Can't pick that up. Look at sign. Ring bell for service. Pick up sign. Better not touch it. Alright, let's use the bell. 
Use bell. I should have known it'd be you again. Swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. What do you want? Um, I think I just like to browse. Hey, this ain't no boutique. I don't take all day. Well, I already stole everything, so bye. Would you like to pay for those? Um, about this sword. What about it? Um, I want it. That's a hundred pieces of eight. Take it or leave it. I don't have enough money. Figures. Um... I guess I have to walk out without ringing the damn bell. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you ask her again? He's gonna go and do that again? What a dummy. <sighs> okay, so now I'm gonna pick up the sword. I'm gonna open the door. And I'm gonna leave. What the hell? Looking for a sword master, are you? Looking for a little five finger discount, it looks like to me. See, I never trust you again, devilish little shoplifting weaselly boy. Damn it. About this shovel. What about it? I want it. Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you 75 pieces of eight. Jesus Christ, I don't have that much. Then you better go put it back. So they're really not going to let me steal. Uh, is there, maybe there's something that you can afford? about this sword. I don't want it. <laughs> Figures. I just said, hey, about this sword. I don't want it. Okay, so this shop was a fucking waste of my time. Okay, so this looks like a church. Go over there. Oh my. Okay, so it's a church. Okay, there's a doorway over here. It's a jail. Look at lock. It's locked. Oh my god, the rat's in jail. It's locked. Uh, talk to prisoner. You gotta get me out of here. I'm a victim of society. Not to mention halitosis. Yuck. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Um, give meat to prisoner. I don't want anything but my freedom. And maybe a breathman. Uh, pick up cell. Can't pick that up. Alright, so that guy wants his freedom. Oh. Hello, this is Ty McVicker. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing alright, I'm watching your show right now, it seems. I really like this. 
Thank you. I'm interested in playing Monkey Island. Haven't played it yet, but just my soul so I mean, I might go to my local store and buy it. Um, no, I was wondering about something. Yeah. Have you played Half Life yet? Yeah, I did a full page write up for it um, in the November issue last year. Um, I was planning on doing one of the first shows with that game because of just like how popular it is, but. Uh, my boss told me to do Monkey Island. We're going to do Half-Life next, this Friday, I think. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that seems fun. Yeah. I was wondering, uh, I know there's, they haven't announced this yet, but, like, obviously, Valve's probably going to make a Half-Life 2 in the future. That's just my guess. Well... What would you like to see in it? In a Half-Life 2? Yeah. Um... I'd like to know the, who the guy in the suit is. That's a question I'd like answered. Um, I don't know. Like, right now, it doesn't seem like Valve's really working on a Half-Life 2. They're busy with Team Fortress 2, you know? And, um, you know, they've been... They've been, they've, they, they've been working on Team Fortress Classic, and... They've been trying to to really mm. develop Team Fortress 2. That they hired Robin Walker to make Team Fortress 2. Uh, Valve's Team Fortress is, you know, the current like real title of it. Even though Walker was like touting Team Fortress 2 even before he was hired. So I don't know. Um, I know that they announced that there's going to be some expansion packs for Half Life 1, but. The current rumor is that it's not made by Valve, so that they can focus on Team Fortress 2. Um, I'm thinking of that. Yeah, well, I mean, I have an interview lined up with Valve this summer, uh, specifically for Team Fortress 2, because apparently at E3 this year, TF2 is going to be playable, um, and I'll get to try it out, and they'll let you know how it is. Oh. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, look, I mean... There's so many games coming out all the time. I don't think we need a Half-Life 2. Like, like, what else can you really do? Like, it's, it's like, there's another Black Mesa incident or something. I don't know. I just, I don't no, see, I, I don't fair. see what you can do with it. I'd rather, mm. I'd, I'd rather play, um, like a, like a Sin 2, or a Unreal 2, or a Blood 2. I think those will probably be better. Duke Nukem Forever will probably be better. Because it just seems like yeah, there's more like ideas there. You know? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You can go yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited for Team Fortress 2, though. You're what? I'm really excited for the Team Fortress game. Yeah, well, it's supposed to be out next year. Um, TF2 is. Um, what I heard was, was like a summer 2000 launch for Team Fortress 2, and then, I mean, who knows what, I mean, they'll probably do like a Half-Life 2, or maybe they'll, they'll, uh, do something completely different, I don't know. They're a new company, they could do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. They're off to a really good start, though. Oh, hugely, yeah. Half-Life is a very good game. Um, I think their modding scene is, is really creative and successful for as new as it is, and they're very open to modding. I mean, they hired a lot of their team from the Quake scene, like like uh, Dr. Kevorkian and um, and Robin Walker and John Cook, and all these different people helped work on, on Half-Life. Oh, Dar- the, the, Dario Casali, you know, Team TNT. It's like their whole their whole shtick is, is turning modders into, into professionals, so... I wouldn't be surprised if in the next year or two they just start buying up all the most successful Half-Life mods and hiring those people. Mm. So right now that would be like Firearms and what's that other one? Uh, the the Western one the, called Wanted. There's that one, and then there's uh. At, terrorist game I forget the name of there's action quake they could do something with there's a lot of really good multiplayer half-life mods already out and I mean like if you get 
in the newsstand, the demo disc version of PC Gamer, they load those discs up with total conversions. So mm. I'd check that out, and that'll probably give you a good sign as to where Valve's going to be moving. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm really excited about the future of Valve. I think they're going to really go some places. Well, I mean, you know, Valve is one thing, but Valve is such a tiny company compared to, like, Ritual or Id or Rogue or... Mm. Uh, uh, it's blank, I'm blanking on it. Raven. Like, okay, so Half-Life is great, but that it's one game. Daikatana isn't even out yet. We can't really say that it's the best game ever when you've got all these these people that have actually been around making games for a long time. You know, like, okay, so sure, the future of Valve could be interesting, but, I mean, Valve will never really break out of relative obscurity compared to 3D Realms or Raven or id. Or um, what Car uh, uh, Romero is working on over at Ion Storm. That's a company that comes out of nowhere with, with all the talent, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. I mean, it could be good. You know, Valve, they had a really great first game. They have a really interesting group of people over there. Gabe Newell is definitely a, an interesting character, but I feel like the real talent at that company comes from people like Robin Walker. Um, but, I mean, compared to the rest of the industry, they're they're small potatoes, man. you got to be paying attention to like Ritual and Id and 3D Realms and stuff. And Daikatana, of course. I haven't heard of Daikatana. I'll probably see what games they got. Well, I mean, that's supposed to be out any day now. Like, it's been delayed like three times already. I have a, I have mm -hmm. a, I have a full page spread from, I think it was Computer Gaming World ran in 97. And that game was supposed to be out by now. So, <laughs> Romero is just a perfectionist and that goes to show that, you know, not everybody is, I mean, I don't know. Valve was originally aiming for, like, time. for Holiday 97, but that then came out Holiday 98, so I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I think I'm just really excited for PC gaming in general. I think it's going to Oh, I go think right I think I think big. right now is such a great time for PC gaming. I think like everything that we understand as computers will just seem like a baby's toy in 10, 15 years when we're <laughs> dealing with, like, optical computing processors and fiber optic internet and, like, like dozens of gigahertz CPUs and stuff. Like, it's going to be crazy. Like, can you imagine, like, like, okay, so you have a gigabyte. The thing above a gigabyte is a terabyte, and then a thing above a terabyte is a pentabyte. In, like, 10, 15 years, like, we're going to have, like, pentabyte hard drives with, like, terabytes of memory... We're running, like, dozens and dozens of gigahertz processors. Because, like, even ten years ago, Monkey Island was cutting edge, and now we're looking at it like it's this quaint little Super Mario Brothers game. Like, like computers are... Like, it's crazy how fast things move. And so, like, give it another 20 years of that. Holy crap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, full virtual reality. You got the fucking holodeck. It's like the future... Honestly, the future is exciting. The future is so friggin' exciting. Nowadays is just the beginning. Today might seem fun. Today might seem cool. It's it's only better from here. Honest to God. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. So what games have you been playing? It's crazy. Uh, I don't actually really have much time to play games. I've been busy at work. I work oh, at sure, 7-Eleven. Sure. Oh, okay. All right. Where are you at in the country? I'm in Virginia right now. Cool, cool. I'm in Ohio, Cleveland. How's it like there? What's it like in Cleveland? Yeah. yeah it's 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 Cleveland. <laughs> you don't really hear many people talk about Cleveland, do you? <laughs> Not uh, really. It's it's funny because like there's so few things to do in this area that you just have a whole bunch of really cool nerds like me, you know? Because like what else is there to do but play video games and go to movies and go to the mall, you know, shit like that. Yeah, what movies are coming out? Oh, God. I don't know. I'm not the guy to ask about that. Like, yeah. I have a, <laughs> like, I'm the video game guy in my group. I literally just, like, whatever my brother Chris is saying is in the theaters I go and watch, do you know what I mean? 
Like, mm. I'm the video game guy. I'll give the recommendations. Because, like, I hang out with my brothers and my wife, right? And yeah. we all kind of have our thing. Like, my wife reads a lot. Uh, my brother is a huge movie buff. And then my other brother is, is huge into, like, WWE and uh, wrestling and sports and stuff. So we kind of have our own little niche, and we all just kind of have our own recommendations. So, you know, whenever we're going to a theater or whatever, I don't really pay attention to it. Chris is the one with the movie phone subscription. So hmm. I, I just go, you know, okay, what are we going to see? Something with Keanu? Cool. And we just, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm hmm. sorry that I don't really have movie recommend. I can, I can talk your ear off about video games all day, but, you know. Yeah. I'm not the What game would you guy. recommend me playing? What's up? Just give me, like, a random game to play. I don't know. Like a recommendation? Yeah. What systems you got? What are you playing on? Uh, I got a computer. I got... Uh, let me see. I know my brother mm-hmm. has an N64 right now. Mm-hmm. But he's... Do you have some money to spend? Right now, so. Do you have some money to spend, or are you wanting to, you know, cough, cough, get a, get a, get a backup copy of something? I got, I got some money to spend. Okay, I have, so I have some. The big thing room. that I keep telling people is, um, you know, I'm first-person shooters more than anything. My beat for PC Player Monthly is FPS. Um, so I try to keep up with FPS even if they're on consoles nowadays, which. You know, as a person that likes playing with keyboards and mice, using that weird three-pronged monstrosity that Nintendo came out with is interesting. (laughs) But something that people don't realize is that some of the id software ports, like Doom and Quake 2, are completely different games. So... Really? Yeah, I was surprised about that too. So, like, Doom for PlayStation 1 came out. I didn't play that because I don't have a PlayStation... And Ron, my coworker who writes FPS with me, has one, so he did the write-up for it. But it was Doom. It was just it was Doom one with some of the Doom two levels mixed in or whatever for PlayStation, and it ran fine, whatever. And then Doom sixty four comes out, and I was assigned that to review, and I'm like, it's just it's fucking Doom. I've played Knee Deep in the Dead like a a billion times at this point, and I boot it up, and it is nothing like Doom. It's a completely different game. And I gotta say, it's better than Doom 2. I know it's, like, kind of controversial to say, Doom 2 kind of sucks. Especially when you get to the Earth levels. Stuff like downtown and the suburbs? Fuck off. Those levels suck. But then you've also got Quake 2, which just came out on the N64. Literally, I'm in the middle of writing that. And it's like, how the hell are you going to run fucking Quake 2 on the N64? I did an interview with the team that did it. It's this tiny little team out of Mesquite, Texas. It's running Quake 1 code. It's the Quake 1 engine. They just built an entirely new game that looks like Quake 2, but it plays like a Quake 1 TC, and it's really interesting. So if you're looking for some games to play, don't think that you're, like, I understand, like, if I tell you, oh, go buy Doom and Quake 2 on the N64. It's like, oh, well, I own those games, I've played those. They're completely different games. They're great. So those are my recommendations. I'm gonna have to look for Doom 64. I thought they just ported it and just kept it the way it was. Like, how do you not? Like, the marketing for that game. I was talking, so that game was actually put together by Midway, right? And I was talking to some of the developers at a convention I was at a couple of months ago after I played it, because I was so impressed with it. The level design is incredible. So I wanted to speak to somebody from it for maybe get a, a magazine spread or an interview or something. It didn't pan out, but I was like, yo, this game was sick. Like, why did you market it? Appar- oh, excuse me. Apparently Nintendo was forcing them to put that 64 moniker on it, like, you know, Super Mario 64, Zelda 64, all that mm-hmm. kind of crap. They made them do Doom 64. They were going to call it Doom the Absolution. Which, if they had done that, everybody would be like, holy shit, a new Doom game. You know what I mean? Yeah, that sounds like a better name it's in a, general. It's, it's a significantly better game, man. Like, Jesus Christ. 
You're making me excited to play it now. It's really good. Try. It's really good. Yeah. Just go to Blockbuster and rent it, man. Check it out first before you drop the 60 bucks, because it's, it's, it's not the kind of, it's not like Doom 2, like, it's kind of hard to explain. It's much darker. It's not rock and roll music. The music is actually gives huh. me vibes of Quake 1. You know how Nine Inch Nails did Quake 1 soundtrack? Yeah. Like, it's more atmospheric like that and not heavy metal riffs like Quake 2, which it's a completely hmm. different vibe to it. So look for a rental. I don't know if you're in Virginia's Blockbuster or Hollywood Video territory or whatever, but go to a, go to a rental place and check them out first because it might not be your style and you might not like the control scheme either. It's not great. But if you get used to it, it's 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 a really fun experience. I really, really like it. We'll probably play it on a webcast once I figure out how to do a TV tuner. Oh, yeah, I figured that out. That would be awesome. Wouldn't that be cool if, like, playing friggin' PlayStation or... or, or well, I don't own a PlayStation yet. Apparently, my, my 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 wife is getting me one for Christmas, but I'm not supposed to know that. Um, but you know, I, we could play Doom 64 or something. Yeah, totally. That'd be that. You think that would be cool playing console games or something? On, oh, yeah, on, on a webcast. Awesome. You think? I don't know if it's possible, but if it is, go for it. Well, yeah. you can get a TV tuner, and I can hook that up to my machine here, and then I would stream it like a normal game. Yeah, I mean, it would be complicated. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it would be complicated, but I mean, yeah. If it works, it works. If it works, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate it. Um, feel right. free to call any time. I'm gonna get back to Monkey Island though. I might call next show. We'll see. Hell yeah, bro. I'll talk to you later, man. All right. Bye. Have All a right. good show. You too. Bye. Wait, you're not having a show. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Hey, happy birthday. You too. Okay, so we go to the governor's mansion. Oh. Okay, so this is definitely what the meat is for. Oh, no, it's not. They just tore that thing up. Goodness, I don't know what to do. Oh, we're getting the facts. Um, pick up poodles. Oh my. Yeah, okay. So, it's, uh, this is what's coming out. I need, yeah. If you could go onto our website and donate some money for ink and toner, we uh we definitely need it. I appreciate it, but nothing is coming through. All right, so I think we should leave. There's got to be a solution here. Toner and ink for this uh, fax machine is like fifty bucks. It's stupid expensive. Oh, I can walk further down this way? No. I 
I do not know what to do. I have a chicken with a pulley on it. I might need a hint because I am stuck. I guess. Oh, that's the salesman guy? Yeah. I feel like I need the fish that's over here. I have two pieces of eight. Yeah, I have no idea what to do. Let's consult the IRC. Poison barrel and ham, give it to the dogs. That makes sense. But I gave them the meat. The meat's gone. Maybe there's meat in there again? I don't really want to kill dogs, though, you know? Yep, there's meat. Pick up. Use hunk of meat with pot of stew. Pick up meat and stew. Use stewed meat with barrel. Use stewed meat. Was I not supposed to do that? Hmm. 
Open barrel. Doesn't seem to open. Push barrel. I can't move it. Use barrel with meat. No. Use stewed meat with fish. Use pot with pot of stew. Use pot with... No, not door. Use pot with barrel. There's like a faucet right there. Open barrel. Hmm. The table right here. Push table. Pull table. Pick up table. Use pot with fireplace. Use meat with fireplace. Use chicken, fireplace. Use minutes, fireplace. Get the fish by stepping on the loose board in the lower corner. There's a... the loose board? I feel like the game would tell me if there's a loose board. That old man at the beginning of the game... Wait, where does Bone go? Oh, the Bone's right there, okay. That old man from the beginning of the game... I wonder if I can go back to speak with him. Do you ever wonder if we're all just characters in a novel? Yikes. You almost scared me to death. I thought you were a... Never mind. What did you say your name was again? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I came to Melee Island because I want to be a pirate. Well, you picked the right place for it. Perhaps at the wrong time, though. Not to mention the wrong name. You haven't the silliest name I've heard in a long time. What the heck is wrong with Guybrush Threepwood? Nothing if you want to sell shoes. What? You want to be a pirate boy? Take my advice. Change your name. To something like Dreadbeard or Six-Fingered Pete. Uh... Call me Squinky. You just said you were gibberish driftwood or something like that. Guy brush threepwood. Sure, whatever. I'm over this way. Oh, who are you? I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch oceans for approaching storms and ships and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors. Especially not now. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? 
Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. A dread one. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. How did you get to be a lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. I'm over here. Eh? I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck. I'm gonna talk to him again. Listen, I'm sort of busy right now. I'll talk to you later. Whoa. Circus. I'll get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I hurt my hands taming the lions last week. I hardly think that a little scratch compares to chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker, loser, ruffian, fop, weasel, weevil, miscreant, today, toady, ne'er do well, scofflaw, mullet head, mullet head, pencil head, half head, cheese head, harpy, what? Just get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Your mother wears combat slippers. Leave our mother out of it. Get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. You're a chicken. You're a dead chicken. Well, if you're a dead chicken with a pulley in the middle. What? Just get in the cannon. No, you, what is this? No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Weasel. Okay, now they're repeating. Ahem. Whoa. Hey there, son. How would you like a once in a lifetime chance to perform an amazing feat? A death defying feat? Well, not so death defying, really. A dangerous feat? Not so dangerous at all. An easy feat, but exciting. With the amazing, adventurous, acrobatic, and exceedingly well known, fabulous flying Fetchusi brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo, and my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is get in the cannon, and we'll shoot you out of it, across the room. Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Um... No. Will I need one? No helmet? Oh, well, you gotta have a helmet. Can't do a cannon trick without a helmet. No siree. Go get a helmet, and then we can do the trick. Oh. Okay. Well, bye, I guess. You gotta go get a helmet, and they'll pay me like $500. <laughs> Is this island supposed to look like an old man screaming? 
visit the fabulous Hook Isle. Gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. Look at cable. Hmm, I think this could support my weight. Use cable. With chicken. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. That's, that's what the chicken was for. It's a zip line, but it's also a chicken. That's awful. Oh, open door. Hello. Hey. I don't like visitors. Who are you? I'm Bobby Threadbare. Are you my mother? I'm a pirate, cannonball head. Who are you? Excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here. That's the one we're doing. Sorry, but that sign's a little out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal acts, tattoos, demonstrations, souvenirs. But there was a little accident on one of the trained animals. And I guess he, one of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down, put out of business. And since then I've lived here all alone. And the only company I have is the same beast that mauled that unlucky tourist. The same beast that made me a hermit. A monster that, just by coincidence, is identical to the one that attacked me when I was just a child. And left me with these hooks instead of hands. And a, a deformed man. Jeez, now I'm all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can you just leave me alone now? I'm Bobby Threadbare. Are you my mother? No, your mother was a duck. Now beat it. My name's Meat Hook, and I think you got a little attitude problem. Well, I think you got a little hair problem. Jeez. You just don't know when to quit, do you? Obviously, neither did your barber. My God. Why, you... I ah, kicked me out of the house. <laughs> I'm going back in. Bye. Hey, dude. I'm back. I suppose you've come to invade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? What was your name again, Cannonball Head? Look, I told you not to call me that. My name's Meat Hook, and you still have a little attitude problem. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you Cannonball Head. That's okay. I'd rather have a Cannonball Head than a Ponytail. Got him! Ha ha ha. Hey, you got a pretty good sense of humor. Want something really funny? Want to see something really funny? Uh, yes, please, show me, Mr. Meat. Watch this. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. Pretty good, eh? This tattoo talks. I got a whole routine, but I don't have the time to do it all right now. Maybe if we're ever on a long ocean voyage together. Wink, wink. Until then, I'm a very busy man, so... Did you show me that neato tattoo trick thing again? Oh, we're getting the facts. I bet the ink is out. Well. Okay, just one more time. Watch this. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. <laughs> Whoops, I just realized this is the wrong house. Just out of nowhere like that. Oh, okay. Well, have a nice time on Melee Island. Say goodbye, Roger. Goodbye, Roger. <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, this is, it, yeah, it dead.
Apologies to everybody uh, paying to send faxes. I'll have it fixed by the next webcast. Okay, let's go to the poll. Say goodbye, Roger. Use chicken on cable. Whee! <laughs> Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken. Okay, so we've been to that island, we've been to the circus. Let's go to the bridge. Oh. Hi. Stop. You must pay a toll. Um. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? A stew pot? I want something that will attract attention, but have no real importance. Um... A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle? Don't be silly. You've got three chances to give me what I want. Then, I'll eat ya. Um... Okay. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. You're no pirate. Why... The town drunk could out and salt you on his back. And probably would. I can out and salt anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. Stick it in your ear, you great green... garless grub. Oh, yeah? Give minutes to troll. That's pretty useless. But it's not what I want. Give money to troll. You dare offend me with such a paltry amount? Give meat to troll. That's pretty useless. But it's not what I want. Boy, you said you'd eat me after three times. Eat me. Doop -a -doop -a -doop 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 -doop. Oh, please, can't I pass? Boy, you sound like a wimp. I don't like wimps. Push, troll. You can't pass until you pay the toll. Um, shouldn't you have eaten me by now? I'm not hungry. Told you. I want something that will divert attention from things that are really important. Do you want a kick in the ass? You want a kick in the tuchus? Does this guy want a kick in the tuchus? This guy looks like he wants a kick in the tuchus. Talk to troll. Oh, look behind you, a mouse! I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. God, okay, so I need a helmet, I need something to pay the troll. Okay, so... Who is this guy?
fork. Let's go to the fork. Pick up plants. Yeah! Pick up plants. I'm not going into this maze like forest without a map or guide or something. Uh, fine! Try and catch the dirty, rotten pirate. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous for your health. Nice night we're having, isn't it? I sure hope you have something more important to stop me for. Why do you guys talk so funny? Pirate lingo. It's how everybody talks back then. Come on, Guybrush, play along. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell does he mean? Play along. Alright, I'm gonna give him the flower. I think that's what he wants. Alright, this is probably it, right? It's the flower. Give flower to troll. Ah! Okay. <sighs> so I can't... Uh, God dang. Man, I really do not know what to do at this point. Everybody tells me that this is like the easy point-and-click adventure game that gets you into point-and-click adventure games. And I can't even do this one. I gotta break a guy out of prison. I gotta find a helmet. I gotta get the money to pay for a sword and a shovel. I gotta distract some dogs. I have all of these tasks. 
and not a single goddamn solution. So this is the store. There's nothing in the alley. The church seems... Uh, I have no idea what to do with the church. This is the jail. And then this is the path to the mansion. Wait, what the hell? Meat with condiment? I use the pedal on the meat. Give me to piranha. What the fuck? Oh, that put him to sleep! <laughs> Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. Yeah, question. How, like, what? They were just yellow flowers. There's nothing in the game that was telling me yellow flowers would poison something. Okay, whatever, man. We got here's a vase. Let's look at the vase. A priceless Ming. I'm gonna take it. Look at painting. I don't recognize the man, but that looks like the dog in the bar. Use painting. Pick up painting. Talk to... Push painting. Okay. Look at books. No time for reading now. Pick up books. Use books. Open books. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Mm. We are not getting anywhere. God damn it. <sighs> Okay, I have, oh, here's another door. Open door. Looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. What? Am I getting the shit beaten out of me? Better leave this here. Okay. Hypnotize quarreling rhinoceroses. Walk to... Push. Push red button. Not the red button. Walk to... Bang. Look at. Look at tremendous yak. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. Push. Push tremendously, dangerously looking yak. I can't move it. Walk to. Pull. Pull tremendously. Oh my god, I can't move it. Walk to. Pick up. Staple remover? Got it. Use. Use staple remover on tremendous, dangerous looking yak. Walk to. Walk to. Walk to books. It, I'm not doing this. Pick up. Pick up manual of style. I need this. Walk. I must be nuts. Pick up. Wax lips. Walk. Walk. <laughs> gophers. Pick up gopher repellent. Use gopher repellent with gopher. Use. Gopher repellent with another gopher. Use gopher repellent with gopher horde. Use 
Go for repellent with funny little man. Walk to... Look at. Fabulous idol. It's beautiful. Walk to open. Open lock. Open lock. I can't open it. Walk to... Uh-oh. Pick up. <clears throat> Heavy chair. Walk to... Use. Heavy chair with. Sheriff. Walk to... That'll hold him off for a while. If only I had a file, I could have gotten the idol. What in the hell <laughs> was that? And I ended up with a stapler remover, manual of style, wax lips, and gopher repellent. Walk to gaping hole. I still don't have a file. Like, like a nail file? What do you mean, a file? Since the door appears to be locked. So I need a file. Doesn't seem to open. Okay. Can I pick it up? Yeah. Use manual of style with... wait. Look at manual of style. It's some sort of religious text. Look at stapler remover. I bet this will come in handy. They're yak-sized and covered with slobber. I'm certain I'm not going to chew on them. It says gophers won't come near you with this stuff on. Uh, okay. I locked the sheriff in there. Yeah, you did. How do you save this game? How do you save this game? How do you save? Wow. Okay. That was something, man. F5. Name your save game. Ties. Penis. Cool. So, I, I don't fucking know, like, I guess the only thing I can think of that I can do would be giving, trying to give these items to the troll, maybe? You know what I mean? Maybe the troll with, like, the wax lips or something. Okay. Give wax lips to troll. God damn it. Give stapler remover. How about something saltier? Give manual of style to troll. Give gopher repellent to troll. Give 
give vase to troll. Um, use wax lips on chicken. No. Use stapler remover on manual of style. Use gopher repellent with wax lips. Goodness gracious. Are they really still yelling at each other? Does this place have a bathroom? Hello again. No, I don't have a helmet. Oh, the pot! So relieved. Am I dead? Hey, are you okay? <laughs> um, I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? He's all right. Hooray, we spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here's your money, sir. Just recompensate for aiding us. Recompo re recompense. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me. Oh, God. Slacker, loser, ruffian. Okay. <laughs> we just... Okay, so now I have four hundred and eighty dollars. Good lord, this game is fucking funny. Okay, so now I can probably buy the shovel and the map and the sword. Bro, I got the money. Yes. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. Look at map. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. 
back two three four left two three four right two three four left two three four right two three four back okay it's like it's yeah it's it's directions it's directions I get it that's the direction you go in the woods right I've got my eye on you boy Pick up sword. Pick up shovel. Talk to storekeeper about this sword. I want it. About this shovel. What about it? I want it. It's great. It'll pay for itself, believe me. You'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would ya? Ha ha ha. What else do you want? Um, I could really use a breath mint. You're telling me. Here, take one. Please. Take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? Okay, so that's the breath mint. Do you have files? You mean hanging files or nail files? Yes. <laughs> ah, sorry, we're out of the <laughs> Okay. Ah, like I'm going to fall for that one again. Oh, please. I won't steal anything this time, I promise. Hmm. So, I bet I can break into that safe somehow. I'm going to try and use all the items that I have access to and see if I can break into the safe. Use go for repellent with safe. I don't think that'll open it. Use gopher repellent with handle. No way, did that actually work? It's locked. Use handle. Use safe. It's locked. Use handle. Use safe. Use Handle. Use. Safe. How does this handle work? What did I do? Pull. Handle. Pull. Safe. It's locked. Use. Handle. Use. Pull. Safe. Push. Handle. Oh. So it's a certain direction. I don't think that's what this is. Use staple remover on handle. Use vase with safe. Open door.
So I got the breath mints. Give breath mints to prisoner. Ooh! Grago Mint. How refreshing! Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd have a file in here if I did? All I have in here is a carrot cake my Aunt Tolly Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats. I can't stand carrot cake. Um... Maybe go for repellent. That might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. Who are you? My name is Otis. At least, I think it is. I can't. I've been in here so long and can hardly remember. You've got to get me out of here before I completely lose my mind. Can't you see I'm innocent? But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed. I didn't touch the stupid flowers. What flowers? The yellow flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. So how's the food in there? I picked them. Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lights if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tally made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cook at the bar has an old friend of mine, and sometimes sneaks me food. Like pork trimmings. Mostly feet and lips, but once in a while, he brings this really old rump roast. That's what's so odd about the rump roast. Well, it's the only rump roast I've ever seen with a <laughs> prehensile tail. So who would want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it's a conspiracy. And if there's one type of pri piracy I don't like, it's con pi Look, I like visitors and everything but I don't have much more to say. Plus, my throat's getting dry from all this talking. Tell me about it. Why don't you go find someone else to talk to? It's not like I'm the only pirate left on this island or anything. All right, fine. I have carrot cake now. So, I have directions to get through that forest, and I have new stuff I could possibly try and use on the troll. But now I want to see if I can ask the cook about that rump roast. Nothing I can do with a dog. You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swelling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul mouth. Okay. waiting for the cook to come out. I wonder if I can speak to him.
Okay, I don't think I can. Oh, hi! Okay, I do not have the option to speak with him. Alright, let's go talk to the troll. Or I can go to the forest. So I'm in the forest, and now I'm in the forest. So I gotta go back, left, right. So back, left, wait, wait his left or my left? can't tell what's back. Something happened. Danger, open ravine. Yeah. No fucking way, dude. I figured it out. <gasps> Swordmaster! How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. Hi, I'm selling fine leather jackets. Do you have one in size 3? Of course you don't, because you're not really a jacket salesman. Let's be honest, you're here to prove yourself as pirate leaders in hopes that one day you'll be as immoral as they are. Yep, you nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. What's your final grade in Captain Smirk's sword fighting class? Uh, grade? Class? You mean you came here to take on the Swordmaster of Melee Island? Possibly the greatest sword fire in the entire Caribbean, without a single lesson in the art of fencing. Yep. How did you expect to defend yourself? Gee... I don't know. I see. Obviously, not with your razor-sharp wit. I advise you seek out Captain Smirk and get some real training. It'd be hardly ethical, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as yourself. So, beat it. Alright. See ya.
All right, troll. Give cake to troll. God damn it, troll. Give breath mint to troll. Give shovel to troll. Give map to troll. Give stapler remover to troll. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Use sword. Use sword. Use shovel with troll. Push troll. Something that'll attract attention but with no real importance. Give money to troll. Good God, dude. I have no idea. None. <gasps> oh my god. That dumbass. There was a file in the cake. Well, it's getting late. So I think I'm going to quit for now. Um, I will see you all on Friday, this time with ink. Well, this has been a fun webcast. I'm glad you all had a, a nice time. Um, if you get an email from my boss asking you what you thought of our webcast, uh, please give him a good review. Um, we'll be doing the next, uh, webcast Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Okay? So it was nice hanging out with everybody. It was nice talking with everybody. Um, I will see everybody later. And I will, um, you know, get some ink for the fax machine, some toner for the fax machine, so that uh, I can see your faxes. Um, bye, everybody.